All right, guys, well, I'm back again. Build part four of Patriot's brand new LC79 Supertura. Now, the truck is finally complete. It's been four long months. We've had a lot of projects come up in between and customers always take precedence, but now it's done. We launched it up at the Brisbane National 4x4 show a couple of weekends ago and what a massive success. You can see externally the truck's changed a little bit again, but the main focus of this video is gonna take you through all the electronics and all the interior mods that we've done. Let's go and have a look. So one of those things that really annoys me and probably annoys a lot of people when you're out on corrugated roads or on big four wheel drive tracks is things bouncing around inside the cabin. You've got electrical leads sort of running all over the joint. You know, you've got stuff up all over the dash and everything's piling off and, and it's always at the most inappropriate times that it happens. So we've really focused on keeping the cockpit of this truck as clean as possible. So as you can see, I've got everything right at my fingertips and all the information, all the data that I need on what the car's doing, both inside and outside of the truck. Realistically, this is probably one of the most important things that I've got inside the truck, the Red Arc BMS. So that's controlling my lithium battery that's behind the back seat and my inputs of charge. We're charging off the alternator when I'm driving and we're also charging off the solar panel. We'll flick real quick over to when we installed all of this gear and I'll let Stuart from Red Arc run you through what we've done. So by now you've seen all of the electrical gear that we're putting into this truck and obviously we need a system that can handle controlling all of the electrical stuff we're putting in. Now because of the X1s, we've got a really good affiliation with Red Arc and we've got Stu here from Adelaide, from Red Arc HQ. Mate, run us through the stuff we're putting in. Sure. So down the back of the ute we're going to have the Manager 30 yep. Series 2. Yep. It's going to have lithium charge profile in it. You're going to have a monitor up on your overhead console. You're going to have a 100 amp hour revolution power lithium battery down behind that back seat. Yep. And that'll be able to power your fridge and all the gear that's going on in the canopy itself. Yep. Inside the canopy as well, we're going to have one of the new Red Arc inverters, a thousand watter. So yep. You're going to have plenty of juice to power whatever. What's you a need. thousand watts good for? What what can I power off that? Uh, a number of items, generally larger devices. You yep. know, a couple of laptops you want to charge, maybe a large camera battery for a video camera. Yep. But all your general stuff like your iPads, iPods, that type of gear. Yep. You know, your smaller equipment, but some of that mid-range gear too. Plenty of juice there. Yep. Absolutely. What else? You're also going to have an SBI 212 under the bonnet. So that's going to charge the underbonnet dual battery system, which will manage some of your communications gear with inside the cab of the vehicle. Yep. And also give you the ability to join the two batteries under the bonnet together. So if you need to jump start yourself in case your start battery fails, yep. or when you're in those real sticky situations I know you love, yep. you can get your, your rear winch and your front winch cranking off of both batteries under so the bonnet. So I'm going to have a little link switch in there on the dash, right? Yep. You explained to me before. Absolutely. So if I've got, if I kill one battery, hit the switch, links both of them together, Spot tons on. of power. Cool. That's the way. You're also going to have the Red Arc Tow Pro, so this means that you can tow the camper behind you with absolute confidence. It'll manage that trailer in terms of the braking, so yep. the whole car and camper will all break together nicely as one system, no matter what terrain you're on. We're obviously really familiar with the Tow Pro, yeah? Absolutely. In addition to that, under the bonnet, you're going to have the BCDC 1225. Yep. Now that'll take care of charging your auxiliary battery. So while you're driving along, it'll apply a three-stage charge to that battery and bring it right up to full charge. Yeah. Because the alternators on these things, great for the start battery, but the yep. way they charge the auxiliary just takes a little bit more push from a BCDC. They don't have enough to get the charge into both That's batteries. Right. It's all yep. about bringing that voltage up. Okay, and then obviously we've got the, the Red Arc gauges as well. So we've got an EGT and boost gauge there as well. Yeah. So I can control all of that or monitor all that work that the boys at GSL did. Absolutely. And not pop the motor. Yeah. And um, what else? What's the other gauge so we're putting in there? Your, your dual volts and amps as well, so you can monitor with both of the batteries under the bonnet with your dual volt amp meter. Yep. You've got your battery management system that monitors the lithium in the back. Yep. And then your engine vitals, your boost and EGT. So when you're giving it the berries, you can keep an eye on those exhaust gas temperatures and make sure you're not over boosting. Awesome. All right, so obviously we're really familiar with the Red Arc gear. We trust it in all of our camper trailers and we definitely trust it in the trucks. Let's get all this stuff installed. So working our way around the dash, I've got the Red Arc boost gauge and exhaust temperature gauge. Now the exhaust temperature will tell me how hard the motor's working and when I really need to back off and, and let the thing cool down a little bit. And obviously my boost gauge will show us how hard the turbo's working. I've got a digital gauge there as well for my airbags in the rear and I've got switches down underneath the HKS computers that allow me to pump up or lower the airbags on the fly while I'm driving. I've got an onboard ARB twin compressor with the switch up here. Now that will control the airbags and also pump up kit for flat tyres. All right, so the HEMA Navigator. The HN7 is a really integral part of the truck. It's an integral part of touring. Really, there's no way I'd head out anywhere remote without one of these things. Now, when you're on your, your on-road or gazetted roads, even in those remote locations, that HEMA is going to tell you turn by turn exactly where you need to go to get to your destination. 
Now, usually I run that in tandem with the HEMA Navigator app on the iPad. So if we venture away from the vehicle, I've still got that, the, the GPS with me. Up the top there, we've got another HN7, but what we've done, just keeping with the same theme, we've actually converted this over to the rear view camera. So because of the canopies on the back of the truck, obviously rear view mirror is gonna be no good to us. So we've put an infrared camera over the back of the canopies and I can see exactly what's going on with the, um, with the trailer behind. Now the other thing that we've done is we've hooked into the reverse switch. So when I get into reverse, my HN7, my actual navigator, that's my reverse camera. That points over the tow ball, I can line the truck up and get the trailer straight on. Now, the 79 series Cruiser, everybody knows it as a farm truck. And look, let's be honest, they are a farm truck. These things from factory, without even putting an exhaust on it, they are quite loud. So what we did, we stripped the entire interior out and we dynamited the whole interior. We sound deadened inside of all of the doors, all of the floor, the roof, and the rear firewall. And let me tell you, the difference that that made was absolutely amazing. Now, we've installed a Fusion Stereo as well. We've gone with all the marine gear, which is what we use in our trailers, we've got speakers in the back inside the canopy, speakers in the rear doors, splits up the front, four inches in the dash, and the, the Fusion UD750. Now inside the 750, it's got a slot there for your, um, for your iPhone, and you can charge it, Bluetooth, and it's got everything in there that you need. All right, so comfort-wise in the interior. Now, Recaro's. If you have never sat in a pair of these seats before, I recommend you get down to whatever store you can and give them a go. They are a big investment, but wow, what a difference. I've got lumbar support, I've gone with the cross speeds. I've got the large size in here and the medium on the left-hand side. Now, my wife's obviously a little bit smaller than I am, and so are the kids. They're normally my main co-pilot, so we've gone with that little bit smaller seat. They're German manufactured, and look, who doesn't know the name, Recaro. Now, we've also done consoles in the truck as well. We've got a nice big center console with a high comfy armrest, a couple of cup holders and a deep pocket, and then we've got the overhead T console. Now the overhead console, that's a really important bit of kit. That's where I'm housing all the switch gear and all of my 12 volt accessory points. Also the UHF, keeps everything out of the way. I've got a lot of storage space up there. We've made up a really neat bracket underneath the dash to hold the HKS F-Cons. I've also got a monster ECU gauge. Now that taps into the computer, shows me everything that's going on in real data and I can clear code should something go wrong. All right, so you can see in the back, we've done a real lot of custom work. We've mounted the BMS, we've got the Revolution lithium battery in there. Now, lithium's one of those things that the market's still getting used to. But again, I'll tell you, once you've used lithium, there is no way you'll go back. That battery there weighs about six kilos. An AGM in the same size would probably be about 35 kilos. The big advantage with lithium, you've got full voltage all the way to dead flat, which means with a normal battery, you, you'll run it down to about 30 or 40% before you start losing enough voltage to be able to run a fridge. With lithium, you can run it all the way down to dead flat and you've still got full voltage. That means you probably get about another 30% life out of the battery. Uh, take a look at them, lithium, really good bit of gear. We've got the Fusion subs in the back, Fusion amp. Obviously, this is where the Red Arc BMS is housed and we've got all of our fuses inside here for all of our main electrical gear. Keeps them out of the weather. We've done a really nice little laser cut panel with a backlit uh, screen. A little bit of a show mode thing, but we can, so why not? So we had to do another modification to the truck as well. Since we put the coil rear end in, the old exhaust didn't fit through. So I took it back to GSL and the boys come up with this. Dual four inch pipes out the back of the cab. Now, before anyone says anything, this one's legal because it's six inches behind the back window. The one on the other side is just for show, but when we're cruising around town, we put a block off plate in. You gotta hear this. Start him up, mate. So you can't not notice. There's a little bit extra on the back now. We've added something to the tray. We've got a couple of little canopies. And yeah, you can see they're canopies, but what's inside them? I'm gonna keep that a secret for a minute. Now we still haven't finished the development on these. This is two new products that we've been working on. This is the Patriot mini canopy. I can tell you inside, this thing has got everything that you need for a big touring trip, including a fridge. We've got the dog box in the front. We're gonna save that for another video. Once we get them refined, we'll take you through what they're all about. So that about wraps up build part four of Patriot Super Tour. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has been involved in this build. Our suppliers, there's been a lot of guys, there's a lot behind the scenes that happens in the builds of these trucks that people don't often see. And there's a lot of new products, R&D, 
there's a lot of things that we don't know. So all of our suppliers got involved and backed us 100% to build the, the ultimate 79 series. Again, my team, none of this is possible without the dedication of everybody that works at Patriot Campers. We love building this type of gear. We've got something else special coming up after this as well. Now for everybody who thinks that maybe this truck has just been built as a show pony, something that'll never leave the blacktop, I've got something else coming for you as well. We're off to Cape York in five weeks time. The 79's coming up there, we're putting a TH610 on the back of it, and we're gonna do a full video on what this truck is actually capable of. It hasn't been built just for show. Thanks for watching the videos and stay tuned.